Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we are going to be doing this tooled leather look tumbler. It is so easy and they are so fun to make. And I think they just turn out so absolutely beautiful. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, vlogs, all kinds of stuff I have coming to you guys' way. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. That's where I will be posting all the materials that I use today if you'd like to use them. I mean, that's completely up to you. All right, let's get to this. Today I am using a 20 ounce skinny tumbler that I purchased through the Stainless Depot. This is Hog brand, but you can use any type of tumbler you have on hand. I went ahead and I primed it with the smoky beige. I just, I typically do um, white for my, my wood grains, but I feel like this beige kind of really helps out with the coverage whenever I go to do the wood grains. So I went ahead and did that. And while I was letting that dry, I went online and I found uh, some scrolls that I really liked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those weeded real quick. These take a little bit of time. <laughs> they, they really do. There's a lot of little uh, pieces in there that you gotta pull out and stuff. But that's the great thing about the this tooled leather, leather look. You can really use anything you like. It, it's almost Christmas. You could use snowflakes. You could use roses. You could use any any type of design you'd like to make this look. So the possibilities are completely up to you as to how you would like your tooled leather tumbler to look. There is no right or wrong when it comes to making art and you are making a walking art piece. So however you'd like to do it, please do it that way. All right, now that I have that weeded out, we are going to apply it to our tumbler. Now, as you've seen in my photo, I on, I'm only doing the bottom half of my tumbler with that filigree scroll look. So I'm not gonna go all the way up with it. There's no reason to waste um, materials whenever it's just gonna be covered anyways. So I'm basically only doing the bottom half of my tumbler here. So the first thing I want to do is get myself a piece of tape and then we are going to start applying those filigree scrolls. Now essentially it's almost like applying a peekaboo except we are not removing these vinyls once we are done. So these vinyls have to be nice and smooth and no bubbles on them whenever you apply them. So you want to be very careful and make sure you smooth them out really well. Right here I'm just kind of showing you how I'm applying it to the bottom. Essentially I'm just putting my first little piece on the bottom. I'm gonna roll up my transfer tape here. I almost forgot the name of it. <laughs> I'm gonna roll up my transfer tape and then just continue to smooth it around my edge until it is nice and smooth onto my tumbler. And then from here, I just continue doing this where I keep wrapping it around the bottom and filling in my little filigree pieces, as many as you would like. I, you could do more filigree, you could do less filigree. I mean, it, Again, it's completely up to you. I'm no right or wrong here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, again, go halfway up my tumbler since I'm not doing the top half, and I'm gonna get these finished up real quick. Now I did use a white vinyl for this, but you could use a tan vinyl as well. It, it will just kind of help out maybe more with the process when you go to a, apply your brown alcohol inks to finish up this leather look. So tan or white vinyl, whichever, it doesn't matter. All right, now that I have my vinyls applied here, I'm just gonna take my hands and kind of warm everything up, make sure everything's down nice and smooth onto my tumbler before I move on to this next step. Now I'm using two types of inks today. The first one is from Christy Taylor. It is called Barnyard, I do believe. Oh, let me turn it around. Yes, Barnyard. <laughs> I'll be using that. And that's gonna be my first layer here. Now, I know some of you might use a makeup sponge that you can purchase from the dollar store. I didn't have one on hand, so I just took one of my foam brushes and cut a piece off, and I am doing it this way. And as you could see there, what I did was I took the ink and I just put it right onto my foam, and then I'm just going to brush it right onto my tumbler, just like this. So simple, right? And again, I'm just going halfway on my tumbler so I don't waste any of my materials. And I'm just kind of stopping roughly about where I know I want to do the upper half of that, that other look that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and continue putting this barnyard brown around the bottom of my tumbler and then we'll move on to my second color. 
So the second color I'm using is Sepia by Tim Holtz. Again, this is another alcohol ink uh, as well. As you guys know, alcohol inks dry very fast, so it's okay to go ahead and start applying your layers on. So as you can see, it's a lot darker than that barnyard brown. So what I'm gonna do is I just put that on and then now I'm gonna come back through with my barnyard brown again. And I'm gonna layer that on one more time and it kind of gives it just a little bit more of a rustic look that I was going for. As you can see, it gets a little bit lighter once I apply my brown to it. And I did switch over to my flannel rag here that I, I have tons of those. <laughs> flannel? Yes, flannel. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted something clean and that would kind of just swipe everything away. I didn't want to take out too much of those dark colors in between the scrolls. So that's why I moved over to this this flannel piece here but what again whatever you guys have on hand however you guys want to do it essentially you're just layering and rubbing and make until you get it exactly the way you want it it is extremely easy all right now that i am done fussing with that here it is all done i really like how it turned out i like the lightness of it i, I didn't want it too dark so that's why i came back through with that that barnyard brown once again so now the next thing I'm gonna do, because I wanted to add some glitter to it, I mean, you know, gotta be a little extra. If you don't wanna add glitter, that's completely up to you. But if you do, this is how I did it. I just took some teal and I took some gold. It was like a 50-50 mix and just kind of mix those together to kind of get make create my own custom glitter look. Now the glitters I used were obviously from my shop, that was Aquamarine and Gold Rush, but please, if you already have a favorite teal or gold, just use that, it's perfectly fine. There's no reason to go out and purchase any more materials than you have to, especially with the holiday season coming around. You wanna make sure you save all the money you can so that way you can get your materials whenever it is time. Now, before I applied my glitter, I did give my tumbler a quick shot of a uh, spray sealer just so that way those inks wouldn't smudge. Or you can let your ink sit overnight and then you don't have to do that. So, I mean, it's up to you. But if you want to do it right away, I would suggest using that spray on there before you put your epoxy on so it doesn't melt together. So I'm using uh, Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast. That's what I've always used, but please feel free to use any type of epoxy you have on hand, whatever your favorite is. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick little coat here. As you could see, I didn't have very much because I was doing a bunch of other tumblers. So just a little bit is fine for this first layer. Again, I'm keeping in mind that I'm not, I don't need to go all the way up with my, my glitter. So I'm just going to come halfway down and I'm just going to sprinkle that glitter around the middle until I get it as thick as I would like it. And then I'm going to place it onto my turner to cure for about three hours. And then I went ahead and applied another coat of epoxy over that because you want to make sure that it is nice and smooth for the next step. All right, I let that second coat of epoxy cure for about 24 hours. And now we're ready to move on to that top half. Now I'm just gonna be using a gloss black from Rust-Oleum but you can use matte, you could use gloss, you could use whatever brand, but this is what I'm using. <laughs> so essentially all you're gonna wanna do is go halfway up your tumbler. So the inspiration from this tumbler, I seen a pair of earrings and it had the tooled leather on the bottom and then it had this pretty black on the top and they were kind of swooped. And that's how why I, I, I decided to do this kind of half uh, spray paint look today but if you just wanted to go straight across however you guys want to do it it's completely up to you so i'm just go ahead and finish doing up my spray paint here i'm going to turn my tumbler around here in a second too and kind of show you guys the other side as well i'm not worried about the spray paint on the bottom either because i plan on coming through and we're going to rub some of that away because i want it to look more torn i don't want it straight or you know, perfect edge. I want it to look more torn, so that's why I'm not too extremely worried about my the where I'm ending with my spray paint there. So after I get a couple of these spots touched up here, I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. You want you want to let it dry because you want to be able to handle it. So after that's nice and cured, I brought it inside, and now we're going to move on to that next step. I've got my handy dandy flannel here. <laughs> 
that I like to use for everything. <laughs> um, and I also have 91% rubbing alcohol. I don't want to use finger fingernail polish remover or acetone rather. Uh, because I just want to lightly rub the edges away. I don't want to fully rub it off. So that's why I'm using the rubbing alcohol. So as you can see, I just sprayed some of my rubbing alcohol right onto my flannel rag. And I'm taking my finger and I'm just going to touch up my edges. Essentially, all I did was just rub until some parts were exposed just to give it more of that torn tattered look so I was kind of like I said I was going for more of a rustic look for this and this is also the time that you can really make sure that your swoop goes around a little bit better because it, it looks like my, my swoop isn't fully swoopy I, I think I said swoop enough <laughs> so I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around my tumbler until I get that look that I'm after I'm also trying very hard not to touch that black too much because if you accidentally touch it, you might accidentally get some glitter on there. And, and you know, any little, any little thing, any little hairs, any little pieces of glitter will re really show up on the black. So here I'm just showing you that I went ahead and I tidied up the edges. Now I'm going to finish up with distressing the edges. So again, I'm just going to take my rag and really come up in there and just wipe away a little bit more because because I want just a little bit more of that look. There's that look I'm after right there. So I'm just gonna touch up this little spot real quick right here, kind of show you guys a little bit closer exactly what I did. And I guess Jack wanted to come say hi. Okay, Jack, off the table. Not, not while I'm crafting, please. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, I went ahead and I found, I've had it for a while, it's a single monogram scroll. I'll make sure uh, to attach that in the link below if you guys would like to check that out. Um, I just thought it went really well and I'm using a copper, like a brushed copper Cricut vinyl. Now today I felt comfortable enough with placing my decal right onto the paint because I let my paint cure for quite a while. If you don't let it cure long enough, it has a tendency to peel up with your transfer tape, so you just want to be careful with that. So now that my my decal is applied there, I'm going to hit it up one more time with my spray sealer here, my two times ultra cover spray sealer, and then I'm going to apply my epoxy. The reason why I did the spray sealer was so that way that epoxy had something to hold on to on the paint, because sometimes paint has a tendency to wick away or make fish eyes in your epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up with my torch, and then I'm gonna hit it up one more time with my torch uh, about 30 minutes after it's on my turner, and then I will apply another coat of epoxy, and I will wait about seven days before I take my first sip out of my tumbler. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I cannot wait to see what you create. See you guys next time.